If your vehicle's battery light stays on, despite testing the alternator and confirming it's charging, let's review some possible causes and how you might fix them. So what could be causing this issue? There are several possibilities. Alternator low voltage output. The first step is verifying that the alternator outputs the correct voltage. Typically, a healthy alternator should produce around 13 and a half to 14 volts, indicating it's functioning properly. However, the alternator's output might be rated for 14 and a half volts, and if the onboard computer detects that it's not meeting that specification, it could trigger the battery light. Even if everything appears to be working, the alternator might not be reaching its rated output. Check the alternator's output voltage to ensure it's within the specified range. Bad voltage regulator. Also, inspect the voltage regulator to ensure it's functioning properly. A faulty voltage regulator can cause the voltage to spike, for example, 16 or 17 volts, or fluctuate erratically, leading to problems. The regulator is often built into the alternator, but in some cases it might be a separate component located elsewhere, such as on the firewall. So when you measure the voltage output, confirm it's stable and matches the alternator's rated specification. Intermittent problem. Another potential issue with alternators is an intermittent problem. The alternator might work fine most of the time, but then suddenly fail, especially if it overheats or if engine temperatures affect the electronics. This could cause the battery light to come on intermittently, appearing and disappearing at random. When the light is on, make sure to check the voltage, because you might get a normal reading when the alternator is working fine, but miss the issue when it's failing intermittently. One challenge with this is that you can always catch the problem by testing the alternator once it's out of the car, because it may pass a test when it's cool or operating under normal conditions. The issue might only appear when the alternator is hot or under stress. So, keep in mind that an intermittent failure could be the cause of the problem. Bad battery sensor. Another component that can cause issues is the battery current sensor, which is found on many newer vehicles, though not all. If your vehicle has one, it's important to check or test it, as a failing sensor can lead to problems with the charging system. So if you're experiencing this issue, the battery current sensor is worth investigating. Bad battery. Another possible cause is a failing battery. Even if the battery seems to be working fine, one of its cells could be starting to fail. This creates an intermittent issue where the battery charges sometimes, but at other times it demands more power from the alternator, which can cause problems. Many auto parts stores offer free battery testing, so it's a good idea to get it checked. So the next step is to check the battery if you're dealing with this issue. Bad wiring connections. Next, make sure to check all the battery connections. This includes not just the battery terminals, but also the wiring that connects to the alternator, starter, and other components. Ensure that the ground is secure, as corrosion on the battery terminals is a common issue. If there's corrosion or loose connections, it can prevent good electrical contact, which can cause charging problems. So, take the time to inspect these connections and ensure everything is tight and clean. High Amp Load Another possibility is a high amp load inside the vehicle. If you have a lot of electronic devices connected to the vehicle's electrical system, it's worth checking the amp load to make sure you're not overloading the alternator. If the load is too high, you may need a higher capacity alternator or consider reducing the number of electronics. So check the amp load for each device to ensure the electrical system isn't being overstressed. Blown fuse or warning light malfunction. Another potential cause is that a fuse may blow or the indicator light itself has malfunctioned. This could be due to issues with the circuit board in the instrument cluster, a faulty wire leading to the onboard computer, or something else in the system. While the electrical system may be functioning properly, the light could still be coming on because of a malfunction within the light or its wiring. So, it's important to consider this as a potential cause. Bad onboard computer. Lastly, the onboard computer itself could have failed, though this is fairly rare. If you've checked everything else thoroughly and all tests have come back fine, then it may be worth testing the onboard computer. A failure in its electronics could be causing the light to turn on even though there is no issue with the electrical system itself. So, that's a wrap. If you have anything to add, please leave a comment below. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel, 
and have a great day.